A Hindu temple in the United States has been defaced with pro-Khalistani slogans. Now, the incident took place at the Swami Narayan Mandir Vasna Sanstha in California's Newark City. Expressing concerns on the situation, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar has said an inquiry is underway. I saw that this is the case of the आप जानते हैं कि हमें चिंता है कि वहाँ भारत के बाहर जो जो एक्सट्रीमिज्म जो हैं जो अलगाबादी जो सेपरेटिज्म जो है ऐसे ताकतों को स्पेस नहीं मिलना चाहिए और जो जो हुआ है हमारे राजदूतावास ने कंसलेट ने वहाँ मुझे वो वहाँ की सरकार और वहाँ के पुलिस के साथ शिकायत की है और ये इस पे मेरे ख्याल से the pictures of the graffiti painted on the exterior wall of the temple were shared by the Hindu American Foundation. The images show hateful slogans against India and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The graffiti also mentioned the slain Khalistani terrorist Jarnail Singh Bhindrawale's name. The Hindu American Foundation has noted that the mention of Bhindrawale, who targeted Hindus, is specifically meant to traumatize worshippers and create a fear of violence. The Indian consulate in the San Francisco area has also condemned the incident and has said that it has hurt the sentiments of the Indian community. It has pressed for quick investigation and prompt action by the U.S. authorities against the vandals. This is the latest among many such incidents reported in the United States and neighboring Canada recently. Khalistani extremist activities are on the rise in both these nations. These incidents come at a time when the Indian Parliament approved three new criminal laws dealing with a range of provisions like mob lynching and hate crime murder. One of the bills, the Bharatiya Nyay Sahita Bill, makes mob lynching and hate crime a separate category of murder for the first time. The punishment for such crimes has been increased from seven years to life imprisonment. And so has the definition of terrorism. The offense of terrorism also includes causing damage or destruction of property in a foreign country intended for defense of India or any other governmental purpose. In the earlier version, this was only limited to damage to facilities within India. The term mob lynching specifically is not mentioned, but the offense deals with cases when a group of five or more individuals attack and kill an individual based on factors such as race, caste, community or personal belief. Meanwhile, US-based Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu has expressed his support for terrorists who ambushed an Indian army vehicle in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch on Thursday. Four Indian soldiers were killed in action, while three were injured in the incident. Panu called himself the spokesperson of the Kashmir Khalistan Referendum Front and urged for a similar referendum for Kashmir as he has for Khalistan. To know more about the story, listen in to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, who has sent us this report. Yet another case of defacing of a Hindu temple in the United States by Khalistani extremists, this time in California. This has drawn sharp reaction from the Indian government. The Indian External Affairs Minister has denounced the development and said that space should not be given to extremists and terrorists. The Indian Consulate in San Francisco has reached out to authorities and an inquiry is underway. But this is not the first such instance. In the past, there have been instances including threats by Khalistani extremists towards India, including by American-Canadian citizen Pannun. He's a listed terrorist here in India and has threatened the Indian parliament and uh, Air India flights as well. New Delhi naturally is concerned about these developments. But what is much more concerning is silence from Washington. So the for Vion in New Delhi.